getting into Vancouver's hot housing market isn't easy. The same goes for Toronto. In both cities, a detached house sells for well over a million dollars and well out of range for most first-time home buyers. I know that around Now here, Stephen Harper has, has promised to help aspiring homeowners cover that hefty down payment by raising the limit on tax-free RRSP withdrawals up $10,000 to $35,000. The Canadian Real Estate Association supports the idea. It uh, allows more people into the market. Paul Kershaw isn't so sure. The advocate for generational equality doubts it will help anyone under 40. They're not making much use of the RRSP system. And even for those who do have RRSPs, this credit counselor says proceed with caution. Is it really just another opportunity to buy now and pay later? And don't we have enough of those opportunities already? The Conservatives' double bear of promise would also scrutinize foreign investment. Buyers who don't live here are often blamed for driving up the market and making homes, especially in Vancouver, unaffordable. For Alicia Simpson, buying a house in the city just isn't possible. To be able to afford that is not really realistic at this point of our lives. Despite previously saying he won't intervene, Harper now wants to collect data on foreign ownership. But this realtor says getting those numbers won't be easy. Disclosing that kind of data about specific clients of ours would be a violation of their privacy, so we're, we're not going to do that. Those who want to be homeowners are a bit cynical about Stephen Harper's timing. People here have been calling on the federal government to do something about foreign investment for years, but it's taken a tight election campaign to put the issue on the table. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.